Hi, I'm Natalie Rhodes, and this is Into Math's 5th grade, Module 19, Lesson 3. I'm going to start off by going over the ICANN objective. It says, I can use coordinate graphing to represent and solve problems. The learning objective is to use coordinate graphing to represent and solve problems. The prior learning is that students drew points, lines, line segments, rays, angles, and perpendicular and parallel lines. Students identified perpendicular and parallel lines in two-dimensional figures. All right, so moving into the lesson on page 481, we have a step it out. It says Alyssa records the height of her corn plant over several days on the graph. So for A, what does the point 810 represent on the graph? So what is represented along the x-axis? So on that x-axis, now it has a label, and it's telling you those numbers, the 0 through 10, is showing days. So what is represented along the x-axis? We have the now the title days. And then on the opposite, what is represented along the y-axis? Now we have the height in inches. and that's in inches. All right, so now it wants us to go to the point 8, 10, and that shows us that on day, well, on the x-axis, the day would be first, right? Because that's the x-axis, so that would be day 8, the first number. And that the height of the corn plant is, well, the y-axis is at 10, so that would be 10 inches. All right, B, it says on what day is the height of the plant six inches? So let's go to the height and find the six. So that would be on this line here. So what day would that be? It's in between the two and the four, which means it would be on that third day. So that would be on day three. All right, so for C, it says, suppose the title of the graph is changed, and now it's number of servings of corn Alyssa eats each week. So now it's number of servings, not the height, and now instead of days, it's by weeks. So describe how the labels would change. Well, the X would now say weeks, and the Y is now going to say servings. All right, so in this changed graph, what would the point 810 represent? So remember, 8 is now weeks, so this would be on the 8th week, so week 8. And then remember, the up and down is now servings, so she ate 10 servings of corn. All right, let's go ahead and flip the page. Now we're on 482. We have a number two step it out. It says Alyssa draws a plan for a rectangular garden. Each unit represents one foot. So a little blue square is now one foot. She places three vertices of the garden at, and then she gives you the points. Vertices is just um, the plural or the multiple of a vertex, which is really just talking about the coordinate, which is talking about the point. So you will hear that said multiple different ways. I'm just going to say point because it's easier to say than coordinate and vertex, but those are the technical mathematical terms is vertex and coordinate, but I'm just going to say point. All right, so she puts the three points. She says 12, 12, so X is 12, Y is 12. Then X is 18, Y is 12. Then X is 18, Y is 4. So then find the location of the fourth vertex or the fourth point of the perimeter of the garden. So you're going to find out that you get an L. You need to then make it a square. So what is that last point of your square when you only have your L? So what's that last point that you need to find to close the square? So A is just... Go ahead and graph all three of those points on the blue graph that you have above. Then for B, what is the x-coordinate of your fourth vertex? So point the first three, find your fourth. What's the x-coordinate? And explain how you know. Then what's the y-coordinate? How do you know? 
Then for D, what is the location of the fourth vertex? So for D, give it to me in like the parentheses. So what's that full coordinate? And then E, here's where it starts getting a little bit different. They want you to subtract the X coordinates to find the length of each horizontal side. So um, the whole entire graph is like this, but your line is only a section. So take your biggest X coordinate and subtract it from your lowest X coordinate, and that'll tell you the length of the garden side. All right, then you're going to do the same thing, but with the Y coordinates, find your highest Y coordinate and subtract it from your lowest Y coordinate, and that'll show you the distance of um, the garden this way. And then for the last one, what's the perimeter? And remember, perimeter is going all the way around, so you want to find your four um, lengths and then add those all together to find your total perimeter. All right, so go ahead and try this on your own and then come back together and we will solve it. All right, go ahead and hit pause here. All right, great. Let's go ahead and start graphing this. So for A, it says plot the vertices of 12, 12. So if I go X is 12 all the way up to Y is 12, my first dot is going to be right there. And again, I'm not going to be drawing lines because I have four different um, vertices or dots on my graph, so I can't have a bunch of lines in the way. Um, so I'm just going to be marking my dots. So that's 12, 12. 18, 12, again, starting at zero. So going over X is 18, which is in between the 16 and the 20. So I'm going to go up that line between the 16 and 20 up to 12. So it's just going to be a couple of lines over because it's still at Y is 12. Then I have 18, 4. So again, I'm going X is 18, which is between the 16 and the 20. So now I'm at 18 and I'm just going to write that 18 here. So there's my 18 and now I'm only going up to four. So there is my next dot there. All right, so remember I said you kind of have an L. In this case, it's upside down. Um, so you have it going across and then down. So we need to make it a square. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this in red. So I know that to close my um, square, it's gonna be exactly down from my furthest left point, and then it's gonna be along with my lowest point there. So there is my fourth um, vertex or point. All right, so let's go ahead and start answering our question. So it says, what is the X coordinate of that fourth point? Well, I know that that red point is above the 12. So I know that my X coordinate is going to be at the 12 because it needs to be aligned with your other, it needs to be on the same, um, coordinate as your furthest left point um, because it's aligned with furthest left. All right, then the Y coordinate is going to be at four. And this I know because it needs to be aligned with your lowest point. Okay. Now for D, give the location of the fourth vertex in the coordinate grid. So the location is X is 12 and then my Y is at four. So that would be the coordinate of the last point. For E, it said subtract the X coordinates to find the length of each horizontal side. So my first, uh, my farthest X coordinate was at 18, and then my closest was at 12, and they want me to subtract those. So I know that the length of my horizontal side is going to be six. And again, remember it said that we were working in feet. So this is going to be six feet um, across. Then it wants us to subtract the Y coordinates. So my highest Y coordinate was at 12 and then my lowest coordinate was at four. So I know that that is going to be eight feet. 
And again, now you have the perimeter. So you have your length and your width. You're going to find that four times. So I know that I'm going to have six feet and then eight feet. And then again, six feet and then eight feet. And if you add all of those together, you're going to have a total of 28 feet. So if I do six plus eight, which is 14, and then I do six plus eight, which is 14, 14 plus 14 is 28. All right, that is it for this lesson. Go ahead and finish up the rest of your problems and I'll see you back for module 19, lesson four.